Hey guys, Shadowlands back with another review. Today I'm going to be doing the kel KSG Shotgun. This is one of the newer, uh, newer release shotguns. Newerly, <laughs> I guess that's not a word, although I just made it one. Um, so this gun, by the statistics, looks like one of the best shotguns available. But the stats lie. Pretty badly, actually. I don't think there's a shotgun in the game, except for possibly the GP R870, that has worse damage drop-off than this. It's not very good. Uh, the damage at point blank is 82, and that's about true to its name. If you get up pretty much right in someone's face, you're going to have an 82 damage. That's about right. I tested it prior to this game, and that's about right. The portability is 67, so it's pretty portable, actually, for a shotgun. The rate of fire is 17, so it's a bit low. It's about that of a bolt-action sniper, so it's not the fastest in the world, but it's not bad, I guess. But the thing is, if you have another uh, person who has a shotgun, like a Remington 1187P, or a similar fast firing shotgun like an M4 Super 90 or Sposs 12 Gold, they're going to overtake you pretty fast. And as you can see, I have to hit that guy four times. He's a medium vester, and there's no way that can possibly be more efficient. If he was any more skilled than that, he would have had me there. So, one of the biggest buffs to this weapon, aside from the very close quarters combat damage, uh, is the fact that it has an ammo capacity of 14 of 28. That is pretty good. I'm pretty sure that's the highest of any shotgun in the game. The R, the for well for one, the M4 Super 90 only has seven shots per mag. This has double that, and on top of that, it has two complete magazines full outside of the you know basic default 14. So it has a total of 42 shots. That's a lot. <laughs> uh, this gun is pump action. It's not fully automatic, unlike the M4 Super 90. Uh, the recoil on this gun is 60, which is about typical. Um, doesn't feel super hefty, it's definitely controllable. I mean, it's kind of a pump-action shotgun, so the same concept as a bolt-action sniper. Doesn't really matter that much, but the spread doesn't ever really get that far out of hand. And the spread's overall pretty small anyway, so it's not that hard to control. Very, very useful, even though the range isn't exactly great. This won't be scoring a super high score as far as other NX guns. It does have its perks, though, and it does have its uses. This gun is great for ELAM when you're, and especially 1v1s, but the thing is, you need to get close enough to them that it can be effective. And at that range, you might as well be using an SMG or a better shotgun for that matter. The 1187P and the Sposs 12 Gold are really, really great fast firing shotguns that can do enough damage to make it worth their while. So if you're looking for a good shotgun, I would probably suggest trying out some of the other ones first. The GP Sposs isn't super much like the actual gold, so I wouldn't say try that to test the actual Sposs 12 gold, because on number one, the Sposs 12 gold is actually fully automatic, not semi-automatic, uh, despite contrary belief, or popular belief. So, that just depends on how you're going to think about the gun. Obviously, this is a shotgun. It is on sale for $20, and I just got knife there. That was really embarrassing. Please tell me no one saw that. Um, anyway... <laughs> Rate of fire being only 17, it's pretty slow firing. Uh, there are better ones, obviously, the M4 Super 90 and some of the other guns like that. I don't have a whole lot more to say about the gun. It's not a terrible gun. You could you could do a lot worse. Um, but with other shotguns available, it's probably not your best choice. So I'm probably going to score this about a 7.5 out of 10 or something similar. Uh, probably won't stray too far from that. Definitely not more than a point away from that, but... One thing I did notice about the shotgun, and I'm saying this as I get a headshot, I know, but it reminded me. Uh, d compared to other shotguns, this thing seems to actually fill the spread that it fires in. A lot of shotguns tend to fire towards the center of their reticle, but this tends to fire and cover the entire spread. And if you guys didn't guess what that already means, it means that it's going to be a bigger headshot machine than most shotguns. And that's actually a really nice thing. I used this gun in Vertigo for a few games after I did this review, unfortunately, and I was not recording. But I noticed that when you're firing upwards, especially upstairs, this gun is pretty good, especially given the fact that when you're firing upstairs, staircases typically aren't too long, so they do a lot of damage, you get maximum hit range because you're hitting all entirely up their body, and uh, you're hopefully close enough that you can do maximum damage, which is really nice. And hopefully, if you're lucky, one of those shots will be a headshot. So, this is a pretty good gun, and I wouldn't suggest that you overlook it. It's not the worst or best gun, I know I've said this already, but it's true. 
Thank you guys for watching this review. I'm not going to actually stop talking just yet. Uh, I'm going to move on and say I know I promised you guys a surprise um, uh, that was supposed to benefit pretty much everyone. Uh, we're having a little bit of technical difficulty with that at the moment. It's pretty embarrassing. We were expecting to have it done, hope, about three or four days ago. But we're taking a little bit our we're taking our time a little bit. So uh, we want to make it perfect. We want to make sure you guys are going to enjoy the surprise. So I hope you guys are able to be patient for that. I'm going to be putting out videos a little bit less often because I figured that after I did a little experiment this past week, only releasing a few videos at a time instead of like three videos a day, and they get more views that way. And I think you guys get to appreciate the videos for longer time that way. So I think I'm going to start practicing that. Maybe one to two videos a day, maybe two at night, one during the day, but spread them out a little bit so you guys get to view the videos and enjoy them all. Um, on that note, make sure you go back and actually check which reviews I've actually done. I have more reviews than Backstar does at this point, and I'm getting lots of PMs, do this review, do this review. And while I would be thrilled to do those reviews, I've actually already done them, uh, for the most part. I have yet to be recommended a new review that I haven't done yet, except for a select few. Um, and I do appreciate all my comments, I appreciate all the input you guys are giving to my channel. And I've gotten a lot more subscribers since I've really uh, started just getting a lot more people from my friends, like Arctic Dropshot. I mean, I still have to give all the credit back to them. They really got me into it. But that's about all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you for watching this review. Please rate, comment, and if you'd so grace my channel, subscribe. We would love to have your presence available on my channel page. And I will see you guys in the next review or video. Shadow Lance out. Oh, hell!